I'm way overdue for refilling these restaurant kits. I'm gonna show you what I put in them to entertain my kids at the restaurant this month. Hey, hey you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, make sure to click that subscribe button so you can get videos about educational activities you can do at home with your kids, plus ideas and inspirations to learn through play. If you haven't already entered the giveaway for our Aurabelle wall toy, you definitely should take advantage of that. The contest is still going on until this Friday, so it's not too late to enter. I'll put that video down below so you can find out all the giveaway details. I have totally failed at restocking my restaurant kits. Yes. It seems like it's such a little minuscule thing, but it was a big deal because we ended up going to a couple of restaurants these past couple weeks and I have not refilled these. And as a result, my kids were very, very disappointed. I've kind of trained them to have them. So then I thought, well, you know what? We probably have some kind of coloring thing we could do at the restaurant. I'd say maybe two out of the four restaurants we went to did not have that option. So I was very, very disappointed and it's time to refill these. And so I wanted to show you what I'm putting into them this month. If you want to see what I put in them in the past, you can go back and watch a whole playlist I've created, all kinds of ideas that you can put in these restaurant kits. But here's what I'm putting in this time. So there's been some serious slacking on updating these kits. I have two of them, one for my almost four year old and one for my five year old, and they are both pretty much um, used up. So I need to redo these. I'm gonna empty out all of the old stuff out of here. Might put some of it back. Even some drawing paper has been used up. So this box is for my almost four year old. I get these boxes from Daiso. Um, Japan and I like them because they have a little enclosure. They're a hard case You can also find them on Amazon and if I can find them I will put the link down below so you can get one for yourself Sometimes they sell it really quick, but just keep checking back because um, they come back in stock every so often I had originally taken out her coloring book. That's kind of a staple that I put in here um, But she had asked for it to go back in so I did slip this in since my last video. She's almost almost done with this. She's one of those girls that will color page by page. <laughs> She's got like five more pages left in here to do. So I'm just gonna keep this in here so she can finish it up. She likes to use crayons, so I'm going to keep this in here too, but set it aside so I can put more stuff in. Last time we had this Get Ready Pre-K book that I think I got at Barnes & Noble, and this, she she's done. She has done this whole entire book, so that one needs to come out. And I'm going to replace it with one of these School Zone sticker books from Dollar Tree. School Zone is absolutely amazing so if you see that at Dollar Tree you must make sure you take a look at them um, these are sticker books and inside they've got these blank mats and there's different scenes on each page and then there's a set of stickers in the middle and you can pick which stickers go on which scene so I thought that was pretty fun so I think for this one I'm going to pick I think I'm gonna pick this one the things that go and then I'm also gonna put this other sticker book because she's huge on stickers right now. This is another Dollar Tree find. So it's one for farm and there's 80 stickers and the focus is a little bit different whereas those had mats. These have more of an educational kind of piece to it where you have to put the certain ones in particular order. So she'd probably do this with me and then she'd probably do this one on her own. She had originally had all of these sheets of stickers. I'm gonna just keep one or two, because this one's almost done, in her for now in case she wants to add them to anything. She likes to put stickers on everything, if you couldn't tell. Also in here previously were these number sticker puzzles. This was from the 99 cent store, and it's almost done. She's got one and a half puzzles to do. So basically there's this blank number sheet, and then all of these stickers that are numbered, and on this page, the sticker sheet, they're all mixed up. But when you put them in the correct spot and the correct number, they form a picture. So you can kind of see one that's starting to form here. So she's almost done with this. I'm gonna just keep it in here until we finish it off so that um, she can be done with it. I wanted to include something a little bit more tactile for her. This is a just a Dollar Tree pencil box that I put some phonics match cards in. These phonics, phonics match cards came from Target maybe last summer or the summer before, but they're a phonics matching game where you look at the beginning picture and find the matching one and then use a clothespin when you find it to do your answer. So I have it all in here and if it fits in my box, it would be perfect. She just needs a little review on those beginning letter sounds. So I thought this would be a good way to kind of do it quickly. And then lastly, I'm gonna do this dry erase game. Oop, I need to clean that off. It came from the Target dollar spot maybe three years ago or so. It's spiral bound and some markers to use that and a little eraser. And if it all fits, yeah, 
we're in luck. It worked. So that is for my four-year-olds. Next is my five-year-old's box, which has a lot of stuff that's already done, some coloring sheets. She also had a similar workbook, just a level up. And I think she's finished it too. Yeah, she has. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that one out and replace it with one of those same sticker books. This one is a different level. This one's words. The other one wasn't as difficult for my um, three-year-old. So she'll have one of those, once again, from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna give her one of those school zone books just for fun. I think she'd probably enjoy flowers one, the garden one. And then this was in her book and these are just little um, reproducible books that you can make from the Dollar Tree. They come in a pack like this. And so it, it was pretty successful. So I'm gonna take one or two of them out so she can color those and make little books. She thought that was kind of fun. She had had this drawing book, which she never got to. So I'm just gonna put this away and readdress it and see if she likes it later. She has a blank book. I get these from Target as well. And they're not quite filled up. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this with some stickers in case she wants to do some of that. And she loves the gel pens. And then she also had this unicorn um, notebook that she likes to just draw in. So I'm gonna keep that in there so she can draw on that. Came with a little bookmark, which she really liked. I'm gonna give her a dry erase book too. This one came from the Target Dollar Spot, um, maybe last summer. You know what, actually I'm gonna take out this notebook because if she has this little um, magical pink notebook, she's not gonna need to. Give her a dry erase marker, an eraser. This game came from the Dollar Tree. It's from their National Geographic thing where you put um, an animal on your forehead and you try to have the others give you clues about what animal it is. I thought this might be fun. So I'm gonna put the cards and one of the headbands in. And then lastly, this is just a little busy bag that I have, the days of the week, which is what she's been kind of interested in recently. And then it came from Target. It has all these little clothes pins that you match up the days of the week. They're written right on the clothes pin and you put them on the correct spot. So I'm gonna put this in here, see if she shows any interest in using this because she has been showing interest to learning her days of the week. And then these were in the kit last time. They're a set of colored pencils, the unicorns and rainbows from Target Dollar Spot. I'm just gonna slip these in here because I know if they're not in there, she'll probably be missing them. Let's see if it closes. Always the deciding moment. <laughs> and it does. Perfect. Have you found anything really cool to put in a restaurant kit? Let me know down below in the comments. I love to hear all these new ideas because I need them too. If you are interested and live in the area of Southern California, you are welcome to come to my meet and greet at the Lakeshore Learning Store in Carson, California. I would love to meet you. It's in mid-June and you can find out all the details on a video down below and we can do some shopping at Lakeshore Learning Store together. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.